Hey, this is Dave Ciccone from Stay Connected with EVs, and today I have a special scooter for us to show you. This is the Apollo Go, and I have to say the Apollo Go means equals fun. And why I say that it is, is that it is truly a blast to ride. I've been riding this for the last three or four weeks. Was lucky enough to have Apollo send us out a scooter to take a look at and also give our opinion. So some of the things that I'm really excited about is distribution. I mean, you can go to your local Best Buy and buy one of these. So it's a name brand. They also have unbelievable support. Uh, UL certification uh, it comes with parts and you know, that's something we'll talk about in my ride. It comes with parts, extra parts. It is made like a brick house beautiful design, stable scooter, and more importantly, at an aggressive price point. So you're taking a look at the 2024 Apollo Go, which is a 700 watt dual motor scooter. So you have 350 watts in the, in the front and 350 watts in the rear. The battery is a 540 watt hour battery, along with a top speed of 27 miles an hour. The range between 20 and 30 miles, we've seen more around 21 to 23 miles on the, on the charge. The weight, 49.2 pounds, along with a weight limit of 265 pounds. Thankfully, I'm okay still. You're really funny and you're totally not fat. Uh, the suspension is a full suspension system with a thumb throttle, along with the handlebar height of 39 and a half inches. And the ground clearance, which is one of the best, is around six inches. They also have tubeless nine inch tires, along with regenerative brakes in the rear. And what's great is it also has a drum brake also. We've mostly used the regen because it works so, so well. And it also is certified, uh, the certifications it has is a UL2272, a UL221, and also IP66, which is a, a rating for water. So as we take a look at the cockpit, we'll go from left to right. First thing you're gonna see are these plastic tips. When you press the actual turn signal button, you'll see here, it'll tell you, but it also will show you on the tip so at nighttime people can see you. One thing that I would have liked to see is that those tips were more rubber. So this way, if the scooter does fall, they're gonna break. Uh, they do give you extra ones, but I would have liked to see some rubber tips on the side here, but that's okay. The grips are fantastic. I have to say they are very, very comfortable to ride. You feel like you have full control. You're not gonna lose grip of the actual go itself. We take a look up here, you have your bell. Stop ringing that bell. And it does get people's attention. And what I love it most about it is, is that some of these scooters are coming out with these loud buzzers and they could be a little annoying, but if you're on a bike path, that really gets the attention. Stop ringing that bell. You have your drum brake lever over here. Not sure, I don't use it much often because of this, which is your regenerative brake, which is nice. And what that does, it will actually spin the, the motors reverse to create more electricity and actually give you more electricity back into the battery, which is nice, but it stops so well. Very gentle touches here and you will feel a very slow approach or if you want a hard approach, you can stop immediately. Next piece is the quad lock. So you could take your cell phone, quad lock it on here, which we'll show. And what that'll enable you to do is open up the app and we'll take you through on the app and what that looks like, but it gives you the full control. Here you will see the battery charge. We're at 100%. And also here, when you press down on the power button, one, two, and three. So that, that's almost like when you look at your pedal assist, the same thing on the scooter. You have your turn signal, again, right here. You have your throttle control. I have to say, hands down, these throttles are fantastic. I truly, truly enjoy them. They, they do a fantastic job, the throttle. It feels real comfortable. It's in a great position. The one other area is if I double tap this, which I'll show you over here, if I double tap it, that is a really bright light. And what that does is, so when I, You'll see the one light that's right there, but this is the actual double tap on the M button, and that turns on that light at nighttime. It is extremely, extremely powerful. So as we take a look at the, the locking me mechanism, it's a simple pull forward, take it, and then this 
bracket here will open up and you can bring it down. Now, what I like, once this is locked, Apollo gives you these straps. The strap then will come around here and locks into place. And what's great is it gives you that extra sense of security, which is really, really nice. You know, because you have to have all that extra security and everything. You'll see here, here are your shocks, Apollo uh, branding here. As we want to break down the scooter for transport, what we do is we bring the actual clamp forward a little bit back, and then you're gonna take this, and this just slides right into there. Basically, you can pick it up and go, which is nice. Now, one of the areas that I thought was nice is this seems pretty, pretty locked in. Now, if you want to take it and go, just press that and you're good to go. Here is your charge port, which you can see right there. Now, you can also see the rubberized deck mat with the, with the Apollo logo and then the locking me mechanism for your foot placement. This is a nice angle for foot placement. I really, this is, I'm six foot one. I have no problems. One area that might be a little concerning is this little rubber piece over time. I'm not sure how that's gonna wear out, but I do believe uh, you can see a little bit, but right now I haven't had any issues and I've been riding this for quite some time. Another area that Apollo did a great job is the, the wire management. As you can see, it's really, really well done. Uh, the wires are completely hidden on this scooter, which is fantastic. You can see how they branch straight up here and then they come to the actual brake caliber. So here you're gonna see your rear tail light. This will be your brake light and also your turn signals, which at night is extremely bright. It's, they do actually a really nice job on this. And then you can also take a look at the clearance that we have here. The clearance, I love it. I think it's one of the best parts of the scooter. You really don't ever have to worry about, when I say bottoming out, I'm talking about the suspension. But what's nice is when you're trying to go over curbs and stuff, you have a lot more clearance to be able to do those things. Okay, we're taking a look at the tool kit now. What I liked here is, you'll see, it comes with all the spare parts. All the different screws are listed, the tools. You know, what, what I really like is, take a look at this. Every single part is identified. And this is what Apollo does. This is the level of detail they go through. And you don't see this anywhere else. So if you need a part, you have a problem, you know how to take care of it. Also, the quick setup guide, fantastic. This is what we went over before. Also, here's the inspection. This was inspected back on July 27th, 2024. And here's all the parts. Full tool, tool kit, pump, the extension for the pump, for the tire, all the parts. All of them are ID'd with what they are. These are the tips that I was telling you about. They give you some replacements and also a wrench. And we are off on the Apollo Go. Been riding this for almost a month. Wanted to make sure I got my true impressions here. This review, we're gonna go over some different things. A little bit more detailed on the Go because it comes with so much stuff. You know, especially you get extra parts, you get, you get uh, identified parts. They're just, they really deliver the, the, a really great package. And right now, I'm, you can see I'm using the quad lock with my speedometer. And right now I have it on cruise control, which is also nice. And, you know, I don't have to have my thumb on the throttle whatsoever because it makes a nice ride in the morning really fun. And... I really identify the Apollo Go as a, you know, it's, it's fun. And I know the, everyone's gonna comment on my thumbnail that they're like, oh, it goes so fast. It's not that it goes fast. It's just, you just lose time, right? And you're just enjoying the ride because it just works really, really nicely. And that's, that's not a bad thing. Not everything is about speed. Yeah, I can get up to 27 miles an hour on this. Yes, I can. I know I can do better than that. Um, you know, we can do that. And uh, we'll do it right here. Just so everyone can say, all right, I got the speed test done, but let's get that done right here. Okay. We have it in sport mode, cruise control off. I'm gonna turn off kickstart, advanced settings, top speed. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. 
10, 20, 26, so 26. Now mind you, I am 235 pounds. I am six foot two. Not gonna make excuses. So again, depending on the wind and which direction, I probably get that extra mile that we're talking about. So going back to the speed test, let's see how the good the braking is. This is the regen braking, really, really good. And I'll show you that on the video, on the side shot of that. That, that goes really well. So right now I'm doing 20 and stop. That's without my mechanical brake here. So when I had my initial press briefing with Apollo, you know, and talking to them about their, their attention to detail when it deals with customer support, and if you gotta believe if they're working with Best Buy, there's gotta be some sort of a, an understanding on level of support that they're gonna have to supply to their customers. And as you can see, the, the map that I showed you shows all the different service stations they have globally. They also give you all the parts and they give you the manual and they give you the assembly diagrams. You, you really can't go wrong with the scooters. Now, one of the things I have to say is when you buy scooters, say, that aren't branded to give the support. So for example, I, I get approached by a lot of scooter companies that want me to review their scooters. And a lot of them have no support in US and I immediately refuse to support it. You know, I worked with Varro Motors just because they're Varro, right? And they have, they do their own support for some of the brands that are outside the US. And that's good. And that's why I showed them and that's why they did really well. Same thing with Apollo. They, that's one of the things that I go through really, really hard with customers because people who are watching this video aren't the, you know, the, the, they're people who are consumers that are looking just to buy a scooter that is made well, good support, and they know they can pick up a phone and someone's gonna answer. And I think Apollo obviously addresses all those concerns. So what do I think of the Apollo Go? I think it's a real fun scooter. Not only is it fun, it's made like a brick house. And what I really like the most about it is if you look at the locking mechanism on the actual handlebars, it is so strong. Not only that, they took that extra set of security and put the band around it and they gave you that ability. Also, the, the deck itself, I love the angles that the deck is actually positioned in, along with dual motors, 350 watts on both sides, really gives the user a nice experience. The other thing, I like the, the quad lock, I think it does do a nice experience. The regen braking, very, very nice. Also, grips, I'm a very big fan of it. Now, the things that I don't like, the caps, I think they should have went with rubber caps on the side. I did drop this already, and I did crack one of mine. I haven't taken it off yet, which is very simple to do. Um, so that's the one thing, I, that's the one part I didn't like. The other piece that I thought could have done a little bit better was the lights back here. I would have liked to have an ability on the front light to change the color. The back light is not as bright as I thought it was gonna be at night, and I think they could have done a little lighting. The other thing that would have been nice is side lighting on the deck would have been nice also. But overall, it gives you a great experience. I have such a great time on this scooter. It fits me well. I enjoy taking it out in the morning. Yes, there are very small shortcomings, and I say small, but there's so many positives with the support, the parts list. You don't get this with any other scooter, and I think Apollo has done a fantastic job at this price point. Not only that, to be able to get it at your local Best Buy, if you have a problem returning over there, the locking me mechanism, I can go on all day. So overall, I, I have to say this is a fantastic scooter. It delivers so much, you will not be disappointed. Also it would be great is if you use our affiliate links below, it tells Apollo that this review was helpful to you. And not only that, it gives you some discounts and so forth. So 
take a look at the, the link down below. It'll give you whatever discount we're offering at that time. Also, if you could be so nice, leave me a comment below. What do you think of this scooter? What scooter are you riding? I'm gonna challenge someone in the comments. Tell me what scooter you're riding and why you feel it's either better than this or why you'd want to get one of these. Also, click the like and the subscribe button. And most importantly, stay connected. I want to thank you so much. You have an awesome day.